Okay, about to get started. Uh, let me just check my screen real quick so I can make sure that I can see any of the responses I get from you guys. And we will get going on this very vital info about what we can do for our own expansion and our own ascension process to actually make it work, make it stick. So let me go switch the screen and I'll get right on it. All right, guys, and I'm ready to go. So the first thing that I'm going to bring up in this entire conversation is that the one thing that I've learned that's most important in my entire journey as an artist over the last several years is that there's only one way to actually advance, only one way to ascend, only one way to do anything other than to go in circles, and that is to advance spiritually in consciousness how do we do that that's a big question but whenever we're actually just trying to make our advancement out in the world out in the material in the external in the 3d all you're going to get is a cycle or a circle trust me you're going to come right back around to where you started eventually if you're not raising your vibration i know that's like a really catchy phrase that everyone's using raise your vibration and all that but for lack of a better way of describing it, this is truly what needs to happen if you want to heal the world and heal yourself. Because the fact is, all is self. The entire cosmos is inside your body. It is your body. To be, on to be honest, you're everything. <laughs> like You're the thing that people call God or Great Spirit or the Supreme Being. And until you stop being at war with your own body, with your own self, with the universe, then that's how, you know you're never going to see the changes in the world that you want to see or that you want to help make so very important realization to have right off the bat that as long as we're at war with our own body then we are at war with the entire cosmos i just saw that i have a title up for abigail the last live stream i did i'm going to remove that real quick Yeah, the fun technical issues of being on a live stream. And hey, thanks for joining me also while I get back into my flow real quick. If anybody wants to say hey, say what's up in the comments, I can see that. I'd love to address questions. But I want to talk about a process that I'm currently in right now to do the raising of the vibration for myself that I think a lot of us have overlooked or maybe heard about and not taken it seriously. So... What I'm gonna talk about is cleansing, cleansing the body and cleansing the organs. Why would we wanna do that? Well, if you own a house, which your body is a house, is the temple that your, li your spirit is living in right now, then you've gotta do certain things with the house, like you gotta change the furnace filter, and you gotta change the water filters, things of that nature. And your body has filtration systems built into it, and you do have to change those or clean those, not really change them, you can't like, well, I guess you can get like an organ transplant, but let's not take it that far where you have to actually change out the entire thing and get yourself like a pig heart or something. <laughs> Instead, let's work with what we've got because what we've got is everything and we'll make it work by getting it clear. So we're going to talk about how the organs correlate to the chakras, how you can get an idea of where you need some clearing up and get yourself out of survival mode and into the higher ranges of your being so uh, and what's up everybody in the chat melissa aaron thanks for saying hi really happy to see you guys joining me so okay a lot of us probably do know about the chakras and i'm going to go over a chart that helps us kind of refresh what goes with what and i'm going to go over some techniques for how you're actually going to go about cleansing your system but the most important thing to know about the chakras is that they aren't just colorful parts of your body that we're imagining to make some sort of cool allegory for something else. It's literally a thing that is filtrating your consciousness. You've been infiltrated. <laughs> what I mean by that is all the toxins in your diet, in your environment, and even in the mental diet, the things you're taking in through your eyes and ears, all of that is infiltrating your system and changing the way that your consciousness is going to behave and react. 
So I'm not here to tell you that someone that's extremely unhealthy is not conscious because we're all conscious. We are all we are all source consciousness. You can't take that away ever, even if the body dies. But you can get stuck in survival mode and you can get stuck in going in a wheel, in a loop, in a circle because of the things that you haven't actually addressed about your own past. Healing trauma, like people talk about all the time, primarily is going to happen by healing the body. The, the best way to understand your body, understand, I should say, <laughs> is that your body is literally in your mind. Your body is inside of your consciousness. It's not that the consciousness is inside the body. But it's kind of both, I guess, to be, to be fair. But while you're in this body, the consciousness that you're going to experience is going to be symbolized by the body, reflected in the body. And if you are at a lower vibration, and what I mean by vibration and frequency, I'll explain in just a second, then you're not going to have the full range of access to all the powers of consciousness, which are basically limitless and infinite. And you're never going to get through the shell and go in to your own innerverse and actually see all the the worlds that are there. <laughs> in fact, for myself, before I started really taking this health thing seriously, I wasn't even dreaming. So there you go, locked out of the innerverse big time. And I tried and tried to just make it work, doing my creations, like trying to just grind it out, the hustle in the external world, thinking that was going to save me. But that was just a loop. It was just a loop. Like not that I don't value what I've created with the podcast, but we're completely stuck on whatever level our chakra system is at. That's just how it is. So when, I'm going to get to the cleansing in uh, like what the cleansing actually entails in a few minutes, but hopefully I haven't left anything out. I'm just kind of free flowing here. No notes. The, <clears throat> I think I'll just go ahead and start talking about the process that I've gone through with the, the first time I did a cleanse. And just as an example for what I mean by how this is really going to unlock the powers that you have in consciousness. So the first time I did any kind of cleansing was a colon cleanse a couple of years ago. And it's been, a, I really just sat on my laurels after that and thought I'm good, but now I'm back on other, other elements of cleansing and it's advancing me so quickly that it's crazy. But the, uh, the first colon cleanse I actually did on the last day of the cleanse, I lit, I lifted up out of my body. I got out of my body spontaneously flew around the room, was able to look down at myself, was checking out the ceiling fan from a few inches away, flying around the house. So if you want experiences like that, I'm not going to promise you that with a cleanse only, but if you have got a lot of gunk in your filter system, then you're probably not going to have that type of experience, at least not in a good way, in a fun way. So the, what it means that the, the chakras are filtration systems, it, they're, they're like lenses, right? So if you're using a lens... Then whenever you're on a camera, for example, you switch to a different lens that lets you see things at a different range or scale, scale of dimension and size and distance and all that. But what happens if there's gunk all over the lens? All you see is the gunk. So whenever we're trying to do stuff like get out of the body, even simple stuff like meditate, if we've got a lot of gunk on the inside on these lenses, then that's what's going to come up. And what's going to be experienced in the external world is going to reflect what is going on in those filtration systems. Because I'll repeat it again, the cosmos is your body. You are the cosmos. The seed of what you are, your spirit, is like a seed. But once the seed grows into a tree, which your body is the tree in this example, the seed is gone. And it's spread out and distributed throughout the entirety of the tree until the point where it reaches a cycle of becoming a seed again. So just realize that, that just the fact that you can't see your spirit or see your soul has a lot to do with the same reason why you can't see the seed that became the plant. It is the plant. It's the whole thing. So if you think that you're going to just get away with treating your body, however, abusing it, and just be like, I'm not my body. I'm, I'm a spiritual being. Well, it's not going to go very far. <laughs> you're going to be going in circles. I promise, because I've experienced this myself. So... All this being said, uh, I guess it's a good time to start kind of talking about uh, ways that you can learn about how to actually address this. And I, I won't go too far on explaining chakras, but I'm going to start with this as the example and show you what chakras are connected to what organ systems. But even even better, first we're going to take a look at how you can just look into your own face and and figure out where you need the cleansing. I mean... 
I'm going to show you a picture in a second that gives you all the zones of the face. But for my own face, as an example, you can't see it in this video. I'm not going to like go put my face right up to the camera, but I've got darker, kind of dark circles here under the eyes. I've got redness on the cheeks here. And there's other elements of the face that are clues to things going on with my organs, but the redness on this upper part of the cheek, that's connected to the lungs. If you have like blotchy red here, or it's just a different color, discolored, then you need to do some work on healing your lungs, and then it's going to clear up in the face. The, your entire head is actually a fractal of your whole body, just like your hand is a fractal of the whole body, and your body is a fractal of the whole universe. That's why people can look at the palm and come, come up with information about you if they know that system. So I'm going to start off by showing you how you can learn about your own organ systems by checking out your face. And, oh yeah, the dark circles under the eyes that so many of us have, that's your kidneys. Your kidneys are crying. <laughs> They're like, too much coffee, please. I need a break. My adrenals are exploding. And I, speaking from experience here, speaking from experience here. So let's check out this chart about the face so we can all get a better look at what I'm talking about. Okay, hopefully you can see my screen here with the face mapping. I think you can. So I can't claim to be an expert to tell you exactly what each part of the face means perfectly, but you can find this information online. And so if you've got a lot going on with the what they call the T-zone, especially up here, you might be on some liver damage. Maybe you're drinking too much. Maybe you ought to not even be drinking if you're really wanting to advance because there's not a lot that... <laughs> There's not a, a, a lot of better ways to halt your own advancement by having a, an alcohol habit. I won't go there. We all know this. I don't have to tell you this. This isn't me judging you if you're someone that does have an alcohol habit. I used to have an alcohol habit. This is just facts. I just want to help because this is what has helped me become the, the latest and greatest version of self that I can be. So checking out this chart some more. Like I said, right under the eyes reflects the kidneys. The upper cheeks reflect the lungs. I had a long-standing bad problem with tobacco abuse, and that's why I, have, I do have some healing that needs to be done on my lungs, probably the most healing there. It's a big deal, though. Like We're, we're not going to ever get anywhere further than where we're at if we don't deal with these filter systems because we're just going to keep getting returned to us the same gunk that's there. Like I said at the beginning, just like your house, just like your car, if you don't clean the filters or change the filters, then whatever it caught is still there. I mean, it's just that simple. And so lower cheeks, I don't know what it what that has to do with mouth that says that on this chart. Maybe this isn't the greatest chart. I kind of was going quick just wanting to give an example here. But the uh, the nose and the heart are apparently connected. The, you got like acne on the chin. You might have the, the need to work on the small intestine. So this is just for you to look at and think about on your own and maybe go search out this information for yourself. However, you don't even really need to worry about this too much if you're already thinking, yeah, man, I think a cleanse is what's up for me. A cleanse is going to do it for me. <laughs> uh, and that's what I'm going to talk about next is like the methodologies you can use to cleanse because just like everything, there's good, better, and best. And we can really advance ourselves quickly by taking the best option through things and Part of what's going to evolve your consciousness is getting past the different addictions to things that you're going to be not battling, but just putting down for a while. You don't have to say, I'll never have X or Y again. Just consider how much stronger you're going to feel as a person if you don't have this need, this compulsion for a certain thing every day. For me, a big one was coffee recently. I finally really jettisoned that habit and... I'm not saying no one should ever drink coffee. I'm not saying I'll never drink coffee again. I'm saying I was hurting myself with how much coffee I was drinking. I got real about it and stopped doing it. And it's not the idea of, of it is what is causing you to be stuck on it. That's the thing to know. Whatever it is that you're stuck on, it's the idea that you're stuck on it that's giving you the main stickiness. That and what's going on in your organ system. So once you make the decision to do anything, you're going to align with that decision with your behaviors just like that. Trust me, you will. You got to be sure that you want it. You got to be serious about it. So let's look at the chakra system and see how if we've discovered or determined or for whatever reason we're aware, we've discovered that there's some part of our organ system that does need some work and some help, where we can go to address that. So I'm going to switch over. 
Okay, so now we're looking at the classic seven chakra systems here. Let's not worry about whether or not this is exactly right as far as a model. There's probably chakra centers above and beyond all that, but the fact is this is a good place to go and look and, and check out what we can do to improve our, our situation. So if you're not ready for a cleanse yet, maybe consider changing some of the elements of the diet, adding certain things in, like green foods are good for the heart. You can basically look at this entire chart and the color that's associated with a different location and then uh, add foods to your situation that are going to match that color and boom, you're already doing something that's going to help on the cleansing and detox. That being said, the foods you're going to need to be working with, um, I don't know if I need to be the one to tell you this, but you really need to be considering organic food because... Whatever you're eating, if it's covered in poisonous pesticides, you're just putting more clog in the filter. That's what your body has been dealing with all this time. So don't fall for the myth that it costs more to be organic. Just realize that it's a lot of the processed products that are organic, non-GMO. Also, non-GMO is important. That's a whole other conversation. But a lot of the processed and boxed and things like that, stuff that comes in a box, that's not necessarily going to be the thing that's going to help you detox. What I'm talking about as far as picking colors of food to match the type of thing that you're trying to heal, I'm talking about more, more if you can, eat it raw. Now, another reason why the cleanse is going to be so helpful to you is that when you actually go through the process of cleaning out the colon, which is where I'm going to recommend you start, and it's actually the only type of cleansing I've done heavily, although I plan to do more. But the fact is, the colon is the base of the system, and it's really helpful to start at the base. And in fact, if you try to cleanse things on a heavy-duty level, like a big detox cleanse, and you go out of order, you run the risk of sending those toxins from one organ to another one and overloading it before it's ready. So some of the things I'm going to show you after we talk about the chakras more are ways that you can easily get yourself internally cleansed in the right order without even having to necessarily do a crap load of research about it. Cause I know that we're all constrained on time. And in fact, if you want to know the truth, that, that entire system of being stuck on time, it has everything to do with you being clogged up internally. That's a higher level mindset to realize perhaps, but the truth about time is that anything that we're doing in the external world that isn't raising our vibration directly or helping raise the vibration of our tribe, then that's a circle. It's a cycle, like I was saying. And that's the trap of time. That's the fake time. That's the <laughs> Saturnian uh, ruler that's uh, mastering all of us. But what we do that advances us in consciousness and spiritually, that's the true time because that's the only thing that gets us out of the loop and onto new levels of the ring, so to speak. So just keep that in mind as well that, uh, oh yeah, and I'll say about the colon cleanse, this is important. The gut flora, a lot of us have probably heard about this, the biome of our actual gut, not only does it influence our consciousness and our food cravings and our moods and everything, it, well, that's what it does. <laughs> it does that, and whenever we clean that out and replace it with some probiotics, it's like getting rid of the armies of Mordor and defeating Sauron and all the orcs are gone and you replaced it with all the good elves and all the good men, right? For I love Lord of the Rings, so that's the metaphor I want to use. Whenever you actually are doing this gut cleanse, this colon cleanse, you will no longer have the same kind of cravings as you were having before. And it will happen quickly and you'll be amazed. And the other thing to be aware of whenever you're in the cleansing process is it's not just going to heal whatever organ that you're in the process of cleansing, but in fact, whenever you're going on one of the more, I won't say extreme, but more in-depth, more involved, more serious type of cleanse where perhaps you're doing like liquid only for a certain number of days, which that's what I even started with. I went full full all the way to the nines on my first cleanse and, and did nothing but vegetable broth and um, fruit juice for like, I don't remember, like, I think seven days and then a couple of days of reduced food before and after that. And what you'll find when you're in this process is that old injuries will flare up. You'll get random bouts of um, feeling kind of ill. You might even start tripping for a minute, <laughs> depending on the things you've done in your past. And that's because 
your body doesn't really deal with stuff that it needs to heal until it has the energy to do that. So if you have been carrying around this bum knee or this pain in your back, things like that, you'd be surprised, especially if it's injury related, at what you can heal from when your body has more energy. And a lot of people don't realize that what is taking up a lot of their body's energy is the very, what is, what is required to digest the extremely dense food you're eating. So if you want to get light, as in be enlightened, get enlightenment, you got to be light. And if you keep carrying around all this extra weight, then you're going to wait. It's pretty easy, <laughs> but it's not the most intuitive thing. And it's definitely not the thing we're taught as kids. So all of this in mind, this chart is a great one. Uh, I would say you can find it on Google and look at this and see the physical associations with each chakra center and how actually when these organs are out of whack, how it actually influences our ability to do things like <laughs> luckily my luckily for to a degree, even though I need some healing in my lungs, my throat chakra is pretty active, but there's a lot of brute force that needs to be approach, taken as an approach for really opening up the chakras to their fullest extent and getting them in the right proper type of spin. And it, it's just a fact. So I think I've probably gone on a pretty good amount about like why you might want to cleanse. And now I'm going to kind of go over some of the ways that you can do this, starting with the colon cleanse, because that's what I'm most familiar with. So the first time I did a colon cleanse, I went the hardcore route and I, I picked up this colon cleanse kit from secretenergy.com. I'm going to switch over to that so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so this kit, I kind of scrolled down a little bit so you can see some of the stuff that it says about it. Basically, this is the brute force that I'm talking about as far as cleaning out the colon. And this is a really awesome product that I'm happy to link to you if you're interested in checking it out for yourself. It is, uh, it says it's $90, but to be honest, like you'll save some money on food for a while if you're doing the full fast. So consider that, that it's not as expensive as it looks for that reason. Also, you really can't put a price on what you invest in self because your health is your wealth. That is just a plain straight up fact. And you're <laughs> the healthier you are, the wealthier you can get, the easier it is to do all the things that you love to do that also generate your income. So that's, a really important thing to keep in mind. Don't let the price tag stop you from doing what is right for you if you know it because you'll always be able to get more money and e even easier to get more money if you're healthier. So with that in mind, this cleanse right here, the first one I did a couple of years ago, you can actually check out really old episodes of Interverse where I talk about in depth and at length what's going on with this colon cleanse process because I did it with a friend and we did it together and it was pretty cool. <laughs> we had some similar experiences. And when I said earlier that like you might even start randomly tripping, <laughs> uh, I saw old pills and stuff. I'm pretty sure I saw an old ecstasy pill come out whenever I did this cleanse the first time. What we don't realize about what's going on in our colons is it gets all compacted with what's called mucoid, mucoid plaque. I think I said that right. This type of really gross looking plaque that you'll see coming out when you're on the cleanse process. You can Google about mucoid plaque and see other people's cleansing pictures and all the weird, all the colors of the rainbow will come out. It's very bizarre. And it's because a lot of these toxins are so heavy duty that your body just doesn't know what to do with it and can't get it out on its own. It's all stuck. And so you need to come in with the scrubber. And this cleanse is the real deal when it comes to the, the scrubber I'm talking about. It has two elements. It's very simple. First of all, it's a digestive stimulator that you take on a daily. I'll scroll back up for the screenshot for the person. So on this one, you get the uh, digestive stimulator, and that's going to keep your bowels moving, even if you're on a liquid-only diet for the time, which is optional. You can also just restrict to less food and a healthier diet, and that's totally okay. So whenever you take the uh, digestive stimulator, it's going to make you have a bowel movement three to five times a day, ideally. But don't think you're going to be just like constantly running off to the bathroom to have diarrhea. It's not like that type of urgency. You'll, you know, you'll want to get it out, though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the whole point. You're, you're going to want to be doing the bowel movements so that what you're trying to get out will actually come out. And part of what assists this process is that there's another thing that you take that's kind of like a, I don't know what it's called exactly. It's like a type of clay. 
you mix it with water and you drink it real fast and it expands in the water till it's almost like like I said, it's like a clay and it fills up your digestional tract. So you'll actually feel kind of full after you drink this, even if you're not having any solid food. And so this fill, it, it like starts to scrub out your colon because this thing's expanding in the colon and pushing up against the walls. But then the digestive stimulator is pushing your tract, keeping it moving gently, not like a laxative, but like a gentle, consistent movement. And if you're doing things like apple juice, which is what I did primarily when I was on this cleanse, apple juice is a great um, movement mover of the colon or like it's a great thing for the health of your digestion. And it's usually red. Usually apples are red. And if we go back to that chart, I was just showing you apples definitely fall into the root chakra, which is, you know, digestion. It's like the, the furnace of the body. So that's a perfect example right there. So anyway, whenever I was on this colon cleanse, like I said at the beginning, on the final day, I actually had a full-on out-of-body experience. It was really amazing. And I think other people have probably had quite the activation from doing it in their past. Um, So also, I I will say, if you want to check out this colon cleanse kit, the secret energy one, full disclosure, I have... I'm an affiliate with this company, or I say company, with this tribe. And if you are wanting to buy one of these and you also want to help me out, let me know because you can get me a 9% commission on this. And if you do, if you do like this, it is so easy to become an affiliate for this uh, group and help, with, help others find these type of products. It's ridiculously easy. They just want to help us all find sovereignty. It's a great group of people. So full disclosure on that, this one I'm able to... Uh, get a commission on if you're interested in helping me out and you decide to buy it. And also, I'd love to see more of you become affiliates or what they call specialists for this, especially after you've gone through the journey. And if you do sign up and become a specialist yourself, you can get a 15% off of every product in their store. And I'll probably talk about other products in their store someday, the ones I've tried, and they've all been great. Uh, the Let's see, what else can I say about the uh, the Blessed Herbs, as it's called, the Blessed Herbs Colon Cleanse Kit? Well, I think I'll just actually move on and talk about the colon cleanse I'm doing now because it's a little less extreme, it's a little less expensive, but I didn't feel like I needed to go nuclear on this one because I had already had a good diet after the cleanse. Oh yeah, it just popped back in my mind what I wanted to say about it. Um, The food cravings thing. We all probably, like I said earlier, are aware that our food cravings are affected by the gut bacteria, the gut flora, and all that, but also the digestion is affected by that. So before I did this colon cleanse, I went vegetarian for a while for the first time in my life after a horrible diet for almost my whole life. And I found I wasn't digesting the plant matter that well. And in fact, my (laughs) bowel movements were pretty loose and uh, not very, very fun to make. And I wasn't, I was like, why is this happening? I did the colon cleanse, this kit right here, followed it up with lots of probiotics. And when I started eating solid food again, my poops got solid again. So there you go. Change the gut flora, cleanse it all out. The whole system works better. And you can, so that's an important thing to know that if you're wanting to make healthy changes in your life and in your diet, you really ought to consider doing the cleanse because it's just going to be that much easier to make those changes stick. And that's what I put in the description. Like, do you want to make these healthy changes stick around or do you want to just be in a loop, in a cycle? So this is what it means to raise your vibration. It Vibration is about frequency, and if you understand what frequency is, it's like a sine wave where it's going up and down, and you're going, I'm, I'm happy, I'm sad, I'm happy, I'm sad, I'm up, I'm down. And there's this middle line that you're hitting every once in a while. And every time that you hit the middle line, that's where you go, oh, wait, I'm everything. I just remembered that I'm the supreme being having a supreme dream <laughs> and experiencing myself through the external world environment. <laughs> That's what it means, the frequency of, t- of times that you actually remember who you are. And a lot of us know that intellectually, but do we really feel it? Do we really feel that we're the master of our own universe and that everything around us is the exact projection and reflection that we need for our own healing and growth and expansion and limitlessness? Because that's what it means, the frequency thing. So it's not, it's not that if you're at a, so if you're at a high frequency, your waves like this and you're hitting that line way more often. And if you get balanced, then you just, you're just staying on it. And that's the trick that we're trying to get to. We're trying to get to where we're staying right on, staying right on the knowledge of, of self, total self-realization. 
So, okay, let's talk about the other colon cleanse kit now and what that's all about because it's the one I'm doing right now. It is easier and I think it's pretty cool. So I picked this up from, as you can see, Global Healing Center. And it's essentially only two things. It's uh, Oxy Powder and Lateroflora. So this is a probiotic, the Lateroflora. And Oxy Powder, Oxy Powder is kind of like the other thing that I told you about, that the clay stuff that pushes through your intestines, but this is less extreme. And on this cleanse, I'm not doing liquid only or, or no solid foods. I'm actually doing fruit only, which in itself is quite amazing. I've never gone many days in a row eating only fruit. And there's a lot to be said about that, especially when you go back and look at the chakra map and how foods correlate to the chakras. You'll realize quickly that if you're eating all this charred flesh all the time, that doesn't even, that's not even on the chart. <laughs> that's, that, that's brown. And if you're looking at the chakras, what's under the red is your, is, you know, your butt where the poop comes out and it's brown. So you're basically taking in lower vibration than even your root chakra whenever you're on, um, a very heavy meat diet. And that's not to judge you if you're on a meat heavy diet right now, or if you always have been, I'm not trying to do that. I just want you to know, as I've been repeating that the only way to advance in your life and not be going in a circle is to raise your vibration. And even if you do decide to stay on a meat diet after this, and you don't think that necessarily you agree that, that it will raise your vibration to eat foods that are less dense, you're still going to have a lot of healing that comes out of doing the cleanses period. So how this works with the one I'm on right now is at the beginning of the day, I take a jug of distilled water and I, I drink a little bit out of it, pour a little bit out. And then I'm adding three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, two ounces of aloe vera. Both of those are extremely inexpensive, by the way, do not cost much at all. And I'm cutting half of a lemon and squeezing that into it. And throughout the day, as I'm having meals of fruit, once every hour if, I, if you want, uh, and you're sticking to one type of fruit at a time per meal. So like for breakfast, I had four bananas, and I felt so good. Like you, It's not like a sugar rush from drinking a Coke or eating ice cream. It's like you do get the rush, but it sticks with you, especially if you keep eating fruit throughout the day. <laughs> so... Uh, you just mono meal like that. Uh, I'm going to have an entire pineapple for dinner, possibly. I just ate four apples before I started this live stream. It was great. So I'm drinking this uh, tonic, you could say, while I'm eating the fruit and then repeating a simple affirmation nine times every time I drink the tonic. I am clean and healthy. And that's a good part of it that the other cleanse didn't have in the instructions. The other thing I want to say about these cleanse kits, if I didn't make it clear, is that they have really good instructions with them where you can fully understand what it is that you need to do on a good, better, and best level. And you have options in these instructions on how you want to approach this cleanse. You don't have to go fruit all fruit. You can just, you can make it your own. It's just that whenever you go all the way with and take it as seriously as possible, it's going to be the most beneficial. And you're not going to feel like you might need to do more cleansing, at least not as soon. So there's that. That's pretty much the gist of the colon cleanse kit I'm on right now. Now I'm going to go into some realms that I haven't explored yet, but because of what I was talking about at the beginning with the face map, I can tell that I need to do some work on different parts of my organ system. And so what's next for me, and I, pr I promise I'll detail this process as I go through it, but next is going to be the complete internal cleansing. So this is a much bigger thing. Um, it's a lot bigger as far as a process. I think it's like a 21 day process, but it gives you the exact order to go through cleansing so that you will not flush organs and or flush toxins from one organ to another organ that's not ready. So, uh, Andrew asked in the, in the chat, are the products certified organic? I actually can't say for sure, but I uh, would assume that they're probably pretty good because everything else I've ever gotten from Secret Energy and especially information is very organic. <laughs> so I'll source that question to my contacts over there and I'll get back to you. I don't want to lie and just say I know because I don't, but probably organic, probably non-GMO most likely. 
Anyway, the complete internal cleansing, I can't give you as much info about that. Obviously, it's got a kind of large price tag. Like I said at the beginning, I can set you up with discount codes for this store specifically, but I'm not trying to sell you anything other than the idea that you can cleanse your body and get yourself back online to the fullest extent possible. So that's about it, and I'm sure I'll talk more about cleansing in the future. I'm kind of coming out of the cleanse closet <laughs> and actually taking it seriously for myself, but it's, it's really a big thing. As I said early on, I had my first certifiable out-of-body experience after doing a cleanse, and that was unexpected and beautiful, not to mention all the different traumas that heal and relationship relationships that change for the better and everything in the external world will be clearer for you the more clear you get internally. So thanks for checking out this stream, and I hope I can inspire some of you guys to do what I've done here and work on the actual body and work on the self for real because like I said all is self and if you're going to war with your kidneys by drinking 64 ounces of coffee a day or you're going to war with your liver with a lot of alcohol or you're going to war with your colon with a bunch of processed foods or you know scared meat then the entire cosmos is going to be at war with itself and it's kind of like if you ever wonder why God, the, the character they call God is a wrathful individual, it might have something to do with the fact that the, uh, the individuals are, that were about that being were themselves pretty wrathful and imbalanced. And there's so much more I could even say about that, but that's maybe outside of the scope of what I was planning, and we're getting a little long in the tooth. So I also want to encourage everybody to go to innerversepodcast.com if you want to subscribe to my main show, this isn't even it. This is just something I felt like doing tonight to give you guys the uh, the info, man. This is where I'm at. This is the current level of info for me. And I think it's really important that more of us get on it because we're trying to do the planetary healing thing, are we not? Do we want to see the division get worse out there and the war with ourselves get worse? Or do we want to see ourselves come together in true unity? So that's the way to do it is to heal thyself. <laughs> and it's a, it's a big thing. Like even the word metaphysics, meta is meat anagram for meat. If you want to get into the metaphysical, then you need to master the meat as in the meat suit that you're in and maybe not eat as much meat. Good rule of thumb. This is not to like call you out if you're a meat eater, but just think about like if something's running away from you, doesn't want you to eat it, then all in all itself, then what are you programming for yourself in the reality? Are you, you're programming yourself to be a farmed animal? I mean, it's kind of like that. So this is where I'm at with the, the knowledge. And I just want to share with you so that you can get there too. And we're going to go together because I certainly need a lot more cleansing myself. Like I said, subscribe to Interverse Podcast from my website. You can find it on Spotify, SoundCloud, iTunes, YouTube, all over the place. And I really appreciate that you tuned in. Share the video if you found it useful. That would be useful to me. And other than that, I hope you have a really great rest of your night or day or whatever it is when you're catching this. And thanks for letting me uh, talk about what I find to be the most important way that we can raise our vibration and advance in consciousness, which is getting clear. So let's do it. And thank you. And I love you. <laughs> Wholeness and Harmony Tribe. If you got anything to say to me in the chat, I guess it's too late because I'm hanging up the phone, but hit me up with a message uh, and I'll, I'll talk to y'all later.